Go. Welcome to Hmong Insight, the Dean's branch of Genko Shia. We're really happy to have all you tuning in tonight. Um, with me are the other members of Hmong Insight, and we also have a guest member, Sivu, to talk about racism and the media. So why don't you guys introduce yourself, beginning over here. Uh, my name is Seng Mua, and I go to Highland Park. And I'm Adam. I'm C. I'm Ainia. Okay. Well, why don't we begin by discussing the tsunami song. The tsunami song emerged from the tsunami disaster in which about 200,000 people died. However, despite this national tragedy, Hot 97, New York's number one radio station, aired a song in which ridiculed the disaster. It included phrases such as African drowning and words like chink and China man. So what do you guys think about the tsunami song? I think it's a horrible thing to do. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it was a funny thing to do. I don't think that it was a smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. And what effect do you guys think that it has had on the Asian community? Oh, I think that after that big tragedy, it shouldn't even be like it shouldn't even be on. It sh and it just like the way it affects the e like us or me at least um, as an Asian. That it seems like they. They care, but not enough because it seems like they're just like making fun of it rather than like trying to support it more. Mm -hmm. And would you guys say that the tsunami song is a form of racism in which is perpetuated by the media because this radio station chose to air it? I think because they're such a big um, like station and because mm -hmm. they get so many listeners and because they're in New York City, they get tons of listeners and like. They should, and so of course they get listeners, so they should be like, they should filter out the things that they air, you know, because it affects a lot of people, and like a lot of people get to hear it, and, it, and I don't know, I think they should just watch their actions. Right, and I, I, I thought mm -hmm. that uh, it was really, I guess it's dumb, that uh, the program director of the show in that morning, or that, that morning show allowed it to happen, mm -hmm. and he said, okay, let's do it. You know, I, I would think that someone who's directing um, a show would know what, you know, what, what, sh what should be aired and not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but I guess that goes into ethics and goes into ratings, too. So. Definitely. And on a more general note, do you guys think the media, meaning TV, newspaper, radio, um, perpetuate racism in, in it all its forms? I think indirect, like, they don't, I don't think they mean to do it, like, directly, but indirectly, the way they, like, and which side of the story they take and, like, how they tend to, like, portray it. I think the way they do it seems to kind of insinuate things, mm -hmm. you know. And on a more local note, um, how do you think the media portrays the Asian community, specifically the Hmong community in Minnesota? I mean, where do we see them, in what context, in what form? I think we get a lot of... I wouldn't say bad publicity, mm -hmm. but because of the fact that, you know, the only things that get aired are, are tragedies, are um, when someone's committed a crime, when someone's, um, like just recently, uh, I, th I think the, the Vu girl who mm -hmm. had accidentally um, hit uh, a 17-year-old boy who was helping yeah. out um, someone else change their vehicle, and that was like the story that was on, right? But what about New Year's? You know, why wasn't that aired on the radio saying, oh, you know, you should check out this event. Mm -hmm. It's been here for how many years, mm -hmm. right?